What's faster, using an Alta Rail or the communion line? I've put together the most comprehensive study to date with over 500 people who've received one of the two ways, and the results show that the Alta Rail is faster, but most importantly, it's more reverent, which I'll get into later. And if you're tempted to stop the video, I want you to know that I'm making this for the good of the church. I believe that by using the Alta Rail, we'll see a dramatic increase in belief in the true presence. And before we go further, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified for future content like how to witness at work, how to follow along in the Latin Mass, and much more. So let's begin. To most accurately compare the altar rail versus communion line, we have to keep two things constant. One, the priest, as speak and vary by the priest, as you see here. And two, the method, which I will get into later. When researching, I found five EWTN priests that used the altar rail during one Mass and a communion line in the other. As a result, I timed how long each took. After the analysis, I saw that all five had a faster time when using the altar rail. In fact, one time decreased by over two seconds per person. Their average time with the communion line was 4.78 seconds per person, and with the altar rail, their average was 3.95 seconds per person. If you wanna see that footage and how I got those numbers, there's like a 14 minute segment on just this portion that you can see in the link above. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please share it with others. The more people that see this, hopefully the more desire there will be to bring back the altar rail. Unfortunately, that was pretty much as far as I could go because a lot of priests don't use their communion rail, although Father Richard Heilman did, so I also looked at his time. He's the only priest I could find, and his average was 3.61 seconds. So we see that there's definitely speed with the altar rail. Then to further approach this, I wanted to see if their average altar rail time would surpass the average communion line time for other priests. It just so happens that we have five American Cardinals, so the five EWTN priests would have a fair comparison. Again, the Cardinals' average time to distribute communion was higher than the altar rail average time, although it was very close, concluding that using an altar rail is faster. However, I think that while seeing which one's faster is great, this is not the reason I recommend using the altar rail, or even why I made this video. The altar rail is so much more reverent and requires us to reflect a moment before we receive God while the priest is coming towards us. It's amazing. I mean, I've literally watched hours of people in communion lines and altar rails, and you can just see the difference in reverence. I highly recommend that you check out the reverence yourself. Again, the link is above. Now, critics of this conclusion may say that, you know, the time is slightly faster, but you're limited by how long the altar rail is or how many ministers you can have. And yeah, that's definitely true. But to my previous point, what's more important, getting out of mass a couple minutes earlier or by our actions showing that we believe that the body of Christ is Jesus himself. Finally, you may be wondering why I didn't just compare the Latin Mass to an English Mass. Well, that goes to number two, which is the method. Let's look at the difference. In the ordinary form, the Novus Ordo, the priest says the body of Christ before giving out communion, which takes about one second to say. In the extraordinary form, the priest says in Latin, but I'm gonna say it in English, <laughs> May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve your soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Which can take up to five seconds to say. While many priests say this on the way to the next communicant, it does slow down the process. However, some priests like those at Notre Dame in France and St. Patrick's in North Carolina were able to beat the communion line even with the extra prayers. Now that is impressive. Last thing, the purpose of this video is to make you think about how you can best receive God, the creator of the universe. So I hope you'll think about how you can prepare yourself to receive him in a more intentional way each Mass. I pray that videos like this will help the church grow deeper in love with Jesus and belief in his teaching on the true presence. God love you.